All right, so what I want to do next here is find if these two functions are inverses of each other, and I do that by f of g of x um, is equal to x, and then g of f of x is going to be equal to x. So what I do here is I'm going to plug these in so I get 1 over, and then and where x is for g of x is 1 over x. So it's the same thing as 1 times x over 1, you know, you don't really cancel that ones, and then you just get x. And since these are exactly the same, 1 over x, 1 over x, you can probably guess what this is going to be. We get 1 over 1 over x again, and it's just x. So that proves g of f of x equals f of g of x, which means inverses of each other. And um, domain is anything x greater than uh, 0. So you can have, well, okay, excuse me, it's not that. It's actually x is all reals except 0. So x, x cannot equal 0. All right, that's it.